information are all about the fact that the information is at one single post, uh, one single spot, the URL basically. When you do REST services, you just ping a URL and you have different HTTP verbs, as you know. Uh, while XMPP, um, the information transits from a, a place, from a node to another node to another node to another node. So really, XMPP, I mean, we can really say that HTTP is about location, about the place, while uh, XMPP is about movement, is about the information going one, from one place to another one and, and then being transferred. So how do, do we do um, do we do XMPP uh, and PubSub clients? Uh, well, we don't use clients basically. Uh, there are tons of um, tons of uh, libraries in each and every language, which is I mean Ruby, Python, Perl, anything. They have uh, XMPP libraries that implement clients. Basically, you don't want to use clients if you're making APIs for the web because they're not scalable uh, at all. Um, the the approach would be sorry. What do you mean by clients? Uh, the regular um, clients that you use on your on your on your laptop basically with a roster and this kind of stuff uh, so you want you would want to use components uh, as I mean component is a defined protocol by by Jabber uh, why would you want to use them uh, because basically f at least for each body which is the one that I know uh, there is a basic run Robin if you have like several components um, subscribing to the same server uh, basically the server will dispatch the messages to the right components uh, in terms I mean depending on how I'm not on how they're charged, but you can still put more components and uh, increase the, um, your, your throughput. Uh, plus the components, they don't have all the things that uh, clients have, uh, specifically um, rosters, which are very, very bad for scalability. Uh, you would want to do um, your, your components with uh, an evented system um, because it's uh, because it's better, huh? uh, well, <laughs> uh, because basically it will allow you not to handle any threads and, 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 and stuff that are killing um, your, 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 your components. And uh, the, the, big, the big black point for, for, for XMPP processing is definitely the XML seri serialization, sorry, serialization. So you, re you would really need to, to be careful that this uh, is done correctly and if you're rich, you can still say, okay, let's do like this and then multiply the number of, of our running components and, and not improve our serialization. So how do we do uh, PubSub at Notifixious? Uh, basically, we use uh, eJabody server, which is written in Erlang. Uh, then we have written a few components with uh, a framework uh, called Babylon. Uh, you can see it on GitHub. It allows you to create basically components in in very simple way. Uh, basically, the way uh, Rails does is application. So you build the controller, you views and your objects, and you just pull it together and have a, a machine. Uh, Babylon uses uh, event machine in the back, so you don't even care that it's it's done, and you have to be careful again with the the, the XML libraries. Um, Babylon uses libxml while it's still in progress, so don't be bad if it's not working very well. Um, the good thing also about components is that you can chain them basically um, by having a component that does something, and then you can create another component that subscribes to this initial component, and that will get his, his information from there. So the good thing is, for example, with um, with this, you can have a a main component and then a, a, another component that's subscribed that will basically write static files like RSS feeds, Atom feeds, this kind of stuff. I know the guys at Sysmic do this. Uh, basically, they have, um, they have, I mean, they just subscribe to their own timeline to write the RSS for the users. So it's very interesting to do this. But you can also transform the 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 the, 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 the XMPP messages into other uh, messages, other types of messages. Uh, email is obviously uh, one of the examples. Uh, and HTTP callbacks or webhooks, if you guys have heard of them, is another option that is pretty interesting. Uh, here's an, a basic example of how we do it at Notifixious. So basically, uh, you subscribe with, a, with an IQ, uh, IQ stanza. Um, well, it speaks by itself. So here, in this case, the user, which is called uh, myapp.component.com, will subscribe. To, sorry, to our node, um, uh, to the node called Notifixious Founders Blog. Uh, it will receive then an answer from the from the from the server uh, that tells that the subscription is is actually subscribed, so it's working now. And then every time uh, we publish a new item on our blog, then um, the, the 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 client, not the client, but the component, the client component, I, I, I say, will receive a message saying that. Um, saying that a new item is published. The good thing about uh, XMPP is that basically you can embed XML codes, uh, XML codes, sorry, inside messages for different purposes. Uh, in our case, it's pretty easy. We use Atom because it's pretty, I mean, it's 
basically what we do. We send Atom messages, so it's easier to, to do Atom. But um, some people I know have chess, have chess, uh, I mean, chess, uh, chess park. Yeah, they have like, they, they, they transfer chess information. I don't know how you, you just format this, but maybe you'll tell us. Uh, yeah, we built our own little uh, XML. XML format. Check XML. XML. There is one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that finishes it for, for notifications. So, I'd be very happy to answer any question maybe after the other presentation uh, wh when the pizzas are here. <laughs> <laughs>